In this video, I will show you how to create this 3D terrain using Google Map and Photoshop. Welcome, my name is Marlon. On this channel, I make easy to follow Photoshop tutorials. So if this is something you are interested in, make sure to subscribe. So in order to complete this tutorial, you will need to install a 3D map generator extension. I have a link in the description of this video to access the extension. So once the extension is installed, enable the extension by clicking Window, Extension, then click 3D Map Generator. Now you can see the 3D Map Generator in Photoshop. The next step is to find a real location you want to create the 3D map terrain of. Click Find Real Location. This will take you to the 3D Map Generator website. Then click Height Mapper. Next, click the Google Maps. Search for the location you want to use. Once you find a location, switch over to Satellite View in order to get a better view of the area. Once you have determined the area of the map that you will be using, turn off the Satellite View. Then copy the Google Map URL. Go back to the Height Mapper website, paste the Google Map URL, then click Go. Then click Save as PNG to save the height map. Once that is complete, go back to the Google Maps website, switch to Satellite View, make sure you are viewing the map in 2D and not 3D. Turn off the labels. Now take a screenshot of the full browser view of the map. If you are not sure how to take a screenshot, I have the instructions listed in the description of this video for both Windows and Mac. Now go back to Photoshop and open the height map that you saved. Close any other documents you might have opened in Photoshop. Then paste the screenshot of the map into Photoshop by clicking Edit, then click Paste. Then reposition the screenshot so the address bar and tabs are not showing. Now you need to crop the area you want to make the 3D map of. Select the rectangular marquee tool and select the area of the map you want to use. After selecting the area of the map, click Image, then click Crop, then press the D key on the keyboard to deselect the area. Next, go to the Layer panel and turn off the visibility of the Google Map layer. Now open the 3D Map Generator Terrain Extension, then click Generate New Terrain. Select the elevation level. Then click one of the three angles to create the terrain. This step can take up to five minutes or more depending on the size of the map and the performance of your computer. Once completed, the next step is to overlay the texture. Click Texturing. Go back to the original heat map document. Turn back on the visibility of the Google Map layer. Then select the layer. Now you need to duplicate the layer. Click Layer. Then click Duplicate Layer. When the Duplicate Layer menu comes up, on the Documents, select the top layer. Then click OK. You can now close the heat map document. You will get a prompt asking if you want to save it. Say no. Select the top map layer document. Then click save. After adding the texture, you can adjust the brightness and the color. By clicking texturing. 
click the adjustment layer icon, then click curves and add a curve layer adjustment. To adjust the color, click the adjustment layer icon, click hue and saturation, and adjust the colors. If you want to change the edge color of the 3D map, click the eyedropper. You will get a message to choose a color. Click OK. Select a color, then click OK. If you want to highlight things such as the road, water, etc., you can use the surface drawing tools. Or you can click texturing. Select the texture color you want to use for the road and paint over them. Then click Save to render the changes. You can change the background color of the 3D map by clicking Grounds and selecting one of the background colors listed. You can add additional items to the map by clicking Icons. Then you will have a list of icons you can add to the map. You can adjust the size of the icons. To add an icon to the 3D map, just click on the icon. Keep in mind that since you are working with multiple layers, it could take a few seconds to load the icon. You can move the icon location by selecting the Move tool and moving the icon to the desired location on the map. You can keep adding additional icons until you get something like this. So there you have it. The steps to create a 3D terrain in Photoshop. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because I release a new video every week.